Hey everybody, so I want to talk about the NHL schedule a little bit here and mostly the structure of the NHL schedule, but quickly before we get to that I want to say if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up, that helps me out a lot, and also subscribe to the channel if you're a fan of hockey or a fan of the NHL. I do videos regularly about topics from across the entire NHL, so as long as you are a hockey fan, there are videos here for you, so check those out and uh, give this channel a subscribe. Thank you. So, the NHL schedule, I want to I talk about the structure and the way it's set up, and mostly that the NHL needs way more divisional games. Um, under the current, current structure, NHL teams play their divisional opponents four times a year. They play their conference opponents three times a year and they play out of conference opponents twice a year and they need to be playing divisional opponents way more than four times a year at least five if not six or seven times per season because those games are just so much better than any other you know obviously to do this they would have to cut games against other teams um, because they're not, it's already an 82 game season, and that is arguably too long to begin with. So they'd have to, you know, you can't add games to the schedule. So they'd have to cut games against other teams to to have more divisional games. So the obviously the thing to do for the league would be to cut out of conference games. I know that the league wants every team in every building each year, but honestly, there's no need for it. Um, Divisional games are much, much better than out-of-conference games. They they draw bigger crowds. They're more meaningful. There's actual, you know, rivalries between the teams. These out of I personally would not be opposed to completely cutting the out-of-conference schedule and just having teams play within their conference. That will obviously never happen in the NHL, so it's not even worth talking about because it's just completely out of the question. What the league should do, however, is cut back to one out-of-conference game per team per season. So, you know, Minnesota would only play the New York Islanders once per season instead of twice. Anaheim would only play the Pittsburgh Penguins once per season instead of twice. And then just alternate year to year um, on who's home and who's away. Because that... That would give you the opportunity for way better regular season games. And the NHL is a league whose regular season is getting more and more boring every year. Um, and with the way that it's set up right now, teams like Boston and Montreal only play each other four times a season. Uh, Pittsburgh and Philadelphia only play each other four times a season. Anaheim and LA only play each other four times a season. We need way more of those games. Now, the downside to cutting the out-of-conference games is you get less matchups like Crosby versus McDavid when Edmonton and Pittsburgh play, less Line versus Matthews when Toronto and Winnipeg plays, but while that is a downside, what you are losing is much less than what you are gaining when you add more divisional games. Because yes, watching Crosby and Matthews play each other is fantastic, watching uh, or watching McDavid and, and uh, Crosby play each other is fantastic. Watching Matthews and Line A play each other is fantastic. But I'd rather see Edmonton play more games against Calgary than more games against Pittsburgh. I'd rather see Toronto play more games against Boston and Montreal and Buffalo than games against Winnipeg and, and teams out west. When teams from the East and West play each other, there's no natural rivalry between the teams. There's usually no animosity between the teams because they don't see each other all that often. They're, they're just not, they're much more likely to be boring games. They're just not as good of games. When teams in the division play each other, they're basically four point games because of what's on the line point wise, with one team winning and one team losing. They're, they're strong rivalry games usually because the way the NHL has made their divisions, which was a very good way to make their divisions, you have all the, you know, teams' main rivals are all in their same division. And 
They're just way, way more exciting games. The teams hate each other. They make they play physical, exciting hockey. When teams from cross conferences meet, it just usually isn't as good. Sure, you get the one-off game like uh, Colorado and Detroit this year that was real nasty, but that's much less common in cross conference games than in in interdivisional games. I remember back before the current alignment of the NHL, when they had three divisions in each uh, conference. You had, you know, division divisional teams playing each other six, seven, eight times a season. Now, it was easier back then because there were only five teams in each division. So you'd play, you know, those four other teams like seven times a year. Now you have, you know, eight teams in a division. Seven if it's a central, but that's changing soon with the addition of Seattle in 2020 in the moving of Arizona. So you soon you're going to have 8 teams in every division. So obviously playing 18 or oh, 7 other teams 7 times a year is a lot more games than playing, you know, 4 other teams 7 times a year. So you probably won't be able to get to 7. But you should be at least at 5 or 6 per divisional opponent. 4 is not enough. It is a damn shame that Boston and Toronto only play each other 4 times this season. It's a freaking shame that we only see Edmonton and Calgary play each other four times this season. There's just... The, the league is missing out on some incredible rivalry matchups. And, but in their, they're replacing those games with cross-conferencing. I don't want to see the Oilers play the Rangers. I'm sorry, but that's not an intriguing matchup for me. I want to see the Oilers play Vancouver. I want to see the Oilers play Calgary. They're natural rivals. They're they're great divisional opponents who they play awesome games with. I want to see you know, Nashville playing Colorado in Winnipeg, not the Tampa Bay Lightning. Even though you know, Nashville versus Tampa Bay isn't a bad matchup right now because they're two of the best teams in the league. What about Nashville versus the Florida Panthers? What the, what the hell is the point of that? Divisional... There should be at least five or six games versus each divisional opponent every year. And whatever you have to cut from the schedule outside of that, cut it. Cut back to one game per each out-of-conference opponent. Do what you have to do, but we need more divisional games. And stemming from that is the, the complete missing of the home-and-home home series from the NHL schedule at this point. I went through four teams, one from each division, to kind of get a glimpse of what, of, of you know, are there even home-and-homes left in the NHL? Because I haven't really noticed any this year. So I looked at the Boston Bruins. I went through their entire schedule for this season. I didn't notice a single home-and-home home series in their schedule. Maybe I missed one, but at most it, it would have been one. And a home-and-home home is when you play the same team two games in a row with either either back-to-back -back nights or with one or two days of rest in between. But you play the same team two games in a row. Used to have them all the time in the NHL, especially against divisional opponents. And it was, they're awesome. Home and homes are awesome. It's almost like a mini playoff series during the regular season. I mean, there's so much, especially among rivalry teams, so much hate gets built up, so much animosity between the teams. You know, Boston and Montreal used to play home and homes all the time. Boston and Buffalo. Um, New York Rangers and New York Islanders played home and homes all the time. And you, do, you hardly see them anymore. Boston, I didn't notice a single one in their schedule this year. I looked at Calgary in, uh, for the Pacific Division. They had one home and home this season that I noticed on their entire schedule. It was the first two games of the season against Vancouver. I looked at um, Nashville for the um, for the Central Division. They had two home and homes on their schedule this season, both against St. Louis. So that's that's perfect. I mean, that is a divisional matchup. Teams that don't like each other playing home and homes, but there's they only have two all season. Two home and home series for Nashville all season. Calgary has one. Boston has none that I saw. Washington was the team I looked at for the Metro Division. They had one home and home this season. And they haven't had it yet. It's against Carolina. One home and home series with another team all season long. We need to have way more home and home game series. And 
Though that, the lack of home and home stems from the lack of divisional games that I was just talking about. Because when you play a divisional opponent four times, let's say you play each other once early in the season. I'll use Boston and Toronto as an example because that is a great rivalry right now. Those teams are very you know similar or close to each other in the standings. And they met in the playoffs last year. That's one of the premier rivalries and matchups in the NHL right now is Boston versus Toronto. So... Under the current format, Boston only plays Toronto four times a season. So if you had a home and home in there, this is what it does. You could have, let's say they meet once early in the season in October. So you have one game there. Then you have a December home and home. Middle of December, home and home series between Boston and, and Toronto. That would leave one game between these teams left for the entire rest of the season. January, February, March, the three months remaining in the season, Boston and Montreal or Boston and Toronto would only play once. And that would be a damn shame. So when you do have home and homes, it completely you know cuts that divisional opponent out of the rest of the season. Which sucks. If Boston and Montreal or Boston and Toronto played six times a season instead of only four which they should you could have that October game that home and home in December and then you'd still have three games left heck they could do another home and home in February and then play once in March how much more awesome would that be but no Toronto has to play um you know St. Louis Toronto twice a year Toronto has to play Arizona twice a year why? It's stupid. You're losing out on great divisional matchups, rivalry matchups, games that fans want to watch. Boston and Toronto is going to draw a hell of a bigger crowd than Boston versus Arizona or Toronto versus Minnesota. It just is. Because it's a rivalry, historical rivalry, divisional rivalry, classic original six matchup that people want to see. Divisional games are just much better than than cross-conference games. So that is what should be cut from the schedule. Cut down on the cross-conference games. Get it so you only play out-of-conference teams once per year. And you alternate year to year who's home and away. And then add more divisional games. Teams should be playing their division rivals five or six times per season, not four. Four is not enough. And that's, that's just my opinion on it. But I, I think that the league would be much better off with more divisional games. Because those are the matchups that fans want to see. Those are the matchups that give you exciting, fun hockey to watch. Not the cross-conference ones. Not most of the time. So, you're also losing the, the idea of the home-and-home. Home. There are hardly any home-and-homes in the NHL this season. Based on what I, I only looked at four teams, but if you bit, spread that out over the, the entire league, teams are essentially playing one home and home series per season with another team, and that's it. And that's a damn shame. They should be having a home and home series every month because those are awesome. Home and homes are awesome when you play the same team twice in a row, it, it, especially when it's a rivalry game and, and divisional matchup. Those are so much fun. And the league is, is depriving their fans of those with the current schedule format. So I think the league needs way more divisional games, more home and home series, more rivalry games, more matchups between teams inside the division, and less outside of the conference because those games just quite frankly aren't as good as divisional matchups. Interdivisional hockey is way more fun, way more exciting, and way better to watch. And that's my opinion on it. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys soon.